Hello, world. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little introduction. That's the first time showing it. This is the first video where I have it in, so please leave a comment and let me know what you think about it. So in today's video, I'm going to be setting up an IBM Watson um, assistant chatbot and then connecting it to a Python Flask program. Uh, this will be very similar to the last video I just did where, we, uh, where I connected a Dialogflow chatbot to a Python Flask program. And so it's going to be very similar. But I actually, uh, and you can watch that video here. Um, but I actually like the IBM Watson a little better than Dialogflow. Um, I like the intents and entities a little bit better. And it does use uh, machine learning. So it's not as explicit as Dialogflow. But it, it does do a good job of kind of um, guesstimating what you'll need. So you don't have to explicitly program um, as a lot of stuff, you can use Watson's um, learning capabilities to help you. So I'll show you what I mean in a little bit, but uh, first, welcome to the 143rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. And so uh, what you'll do is you'll go to cloud.ibm.com um, slash login and then sign up and go through all of that process. And then um, once you're here, just go ahead and log in with your username and password. And then it's going to log in. And then it's gonna go slow because I'm recording a video. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to catalog and then um, you can scroll down and look at all the amazing stuff it has or you can just go um, Watson Assistant click on that and then you're gonna set a location so set the location closest to you and then select your pricing plan so if this is something you want to use professionally then um, you have to pay for it but we're just doing this um, as a personal hobby. So I just use the free one. So go down here, call it something, um, and then submit. And then you'll have your own instance. So um, go through those procedures and then you'll look here. You won't have this one and you'll just go ahead and create assistant. So I've already created mine. So um, when you create your assistant, you'll be asked to um, name it. I named, uh, I just pressed next a bunch of times. So mine was called my first uh, skill, or I'm sorry, my first uh, assistant. Um, I called mine uh, test bot, I believe. Yeah, I called mine test bot, I believe. So uh, my first assistant. Um, what I recommend is you go through the tutorial and set up your own thing or if you're an expert programmer you skip the whole tutorial and you just get frustrated trying to figure it out yourself so that's what a good programmer does so this uses what every chatbot software uses intents entities and then you get to control the dialogue so I'm gonna show you what I did real quick I created three entities in introduction so um, I left this blank and then the user example was hello, hi. Uh, I haven't programmed that yet. Oops. Um, then I created one called get name. So this is you type in the user's examples right here, right? So my name is Brandon. My name is Chris. My name is Jeanette. My name is Jeff. So put a lot of examples. Um, try to uh, try to guess all the examples, but only put like five to ten. And then what you can do is press this annotate. Well, let's skip that for a second. And then I created one called get interest, right? What, what are they doing? Why are they here? I want to buy something. I want to sell something. I'm interested in buying something. I'm interested in selling something. So you just add these examples here and then press add example. So those are some um, intents, right? That's where you try to tell Watson the intent of the user. Then you need to capture some variables with entities. So I created one called at by interest. 
at cell interest and then username. So this username, try to give it as many um, usernames as you can and then name it something. So I named it at username. Same with the buy interest. So buy or buying, um, that's going to be the buy interest. And you just type in your value here and it brings them down here. Um, same with the sell interest, sell or selling. So now that you have those three entities and you can create whatever entities you want, like ordering something, um, returning something, you know, whatever your service you're providing. You go back to your intents um, and then you type in this right here, annotate entities. So if somebody types in, my name is Brandon, um, unfortunately, IBM Watson does not have some of the variables that um, Dialogflows like has sys hyphen name, so system name, um, or system any, where you can type in anything. So, but all you have to do is uh, annotate entities and then see how each one of these words is highlighted or um, I guess dotted lined. You just type in the anticipated entity so Brandon, and then you assign it username, right? You can either make your own entity here or assign it the entity that um, you created before. And do that for each one. And then eventually, um, Watson's gonna learn my name is blank is a name. So that's how you do that. And so then you can just try it, right? Let's, let's try this. Um, so I programmed this, oh, I'm sorry, let's go to dialog before we try it. So the dialog, then you, this is where you control the conversation. So the welcome, right? So unwelcome, so if the system recognizes welcome, which is the introduction, then I want to type in, hi, I'm a chatbot, what's your name? Because the first thing I want to do is capture their name. Um, you can type in anything, and if they'd go anything else, it takes them to the anything else section, right? So this is where you enter a condition, um, and then that's how you control it. So then you can do a um, add node below, or add child node, and this is what I called respond to name. So they just typed in their name, right? And what we're going to do, man, I have to keep moving this is if the assistant recognizes this intent, right? This is what the dollar or the pound sign is. So if it recognizes the get name and the username, which is um, what we identified as my name is Brandon, then we want to uh, respond with, hi, at username, what services are you interested in, right? So now it's gonna learn what that username is. Okay, and then once they enter their username, then we're gonna go into, we set up two different options, a buy interest. So if it recognizes the buy interest, then we're gonna say, great, you're interested in buying something. Similarly with this sell interest, so you can create your own thing right here. So uh, let's close that and go add node. And then you enter your node, right, detect something and then in this condition you can add in your own intent your own entity or your own context variable and if it recognizes that or a bunch of things right you can put in a bunch of variables here um, or conditions then we want to enter a response text right or you can use an option or um, an image you can say, can we connect you to a human agent? So you have a bunch of options there. Okay, so that's what we have now, right? It's very simple, it's very simple, very simple chatbot, but let's try it out. So hi, I'm a chatbot, what's your name? Now you can click on this to show the node you're in, right? So we are right here in this welcome node. So I'm going to type in, well, let's, let's look at the intents that we put in. So we put in Brandon, Chris, Jeanette, Jeff, Lisa. So what if we put my name is David. So ignore this error because we are in a uh, 
that's the webhook error. And so it recognizes David as the username, right? It learned that by using this annotate entities. So right now it's telling us the at username. So it captured this variable. Hi, David, what services are you interested in? And so if you click on this eyeball, you can see that it is 96% sure that where it captured the get name interest. It has a 24% chance that you did a get interest and then a 23% chance of an the introduction intent. So it chose the get name intent. So now let's go back to the dialog and see where we're at right now. So we're in this respond to name where it says what services you're interested. So let's say I'm interested in buying something. So it detected 100% that you have a get interest, which is the intent we created, and you're interested in buying. So I would, now we have a variable, our buy interest is buying. And then it says, great, you're interested in buying something, which is exactly what we put in this dialog. So if the assistant recognizes the at buy interest, then we're going to respond with, great, you're interested in buying something. And so that is just a very simple chat bot that we created. And so let me go back up here to intent. So now that we've done that, the key is to capture these variables, right? And so we're going to use Python and ngrok just like we did the dialog flow. So um, this is the most basic Flask minimum thing. We're in this IBM Watson file I created. So from Flask, import Flask and request. We're going to establish the class of app equals uppercase Flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore. Then we're going to uh, detect the post method because that's what's going to pass us a webhook and so i'm not going to go into each one of these um, but basically if we get a post from um, our local machine we're going to assign that a payload equals request.json and then we're just going to print the payload and then i'll show you why i really like the ibm watson in a second so so we created this python right but now we're going to use ngrok. So go to uh, ngrok download and download this. Um, and once you download it, it's going to be in your downloads folder probably unless you choose a different path. So just don't click on the ngrok.exe. What you need to do is open the file location. And then in this little uh, explorer, if you're using Windows, just type in command cmd and it takes you to the root of the folder. And that's where you're going to run this. So then we're going to run ngrok.exe http 5000. And this is our local machine, right? So we're establishing this faux website on our local machine. And ngrok gives us a real webhook URL to use. So use this HTTPS, copy and paste it, right? So we're going to copy that. And then once you're in the IBM Watson, you're going to go to options and see where this web hook setup is. You're going to enable it and then you're going to copy and paste the ngrok website. And so what this does is this is a one, a single use URL, right? As soon as you close ngrok, then this URL doesn't use. But once you have a website that collects data, then you enter the permanent website in here that always is looking for a post. So there's no save button, you just uh, do that. And then it says the next step is to trigger this webhook from an individual dialog node, enable webhooks from the customized page of the node. So you go to dialog, and what we did in this respond to name, let's click it, then you're going to customize, um, and then you're gonna call out to webhooks, turn it on. And this enables you to send a post request from this dialog webhook URL. So once you turn that on, then this is what I really like about what like about Watson is you get to determine the key and value pair that you're going to pass. So if if you remember in the dialog flow, it sends the whole JSON payload, right? Which is kind of cool. But what if you just want the simple data? 
So you uh, so add parameter. So you, you can name this whatever you want. So variable that you want to store, and then um, you type in whatever you're trying to pass it. So if it's a variable, you're gonna pass in the variable, the entity's name. Um, but we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna delete this. Um, we're gonna de delete this. So I'm going to pass it the name and username, right? And then you just do that for each uh, dialogue because you don't want to capture the whole conversation probably unless you do. And so I customize this one, enabled webhooks, and then I want the desire and buy interest, okay? So that's what we're doing. So we have this ngrok exe on uh, this URL. We've turned on the webhooks inside options. And then each dialogue that we want to capture, we went to customize and it turned on the webhook. So now what we have to do is run our, uh, let's move this in the middle. We're going to run our program. Okay, so it says now we're running on our local machine. Um, nothing here. And now we're going to try it. So that's clear. Hi, I'm a chatbot. What's your name? Now let's look. See, nothing has happened yet because it hasn't sent a post. And you're going to put my name is Giraffe. Hi Giraffe, what services are you interested in? So it captured this at username and Giraffe. Now when we go to ngrok, you'll see that a post 200, which means okay. And then when we're in our um, Python, it captured the post and it passed us this little baby JSON. And all the key value is here is the name of Giraffe. Right, so you can store that. You don't have to print it out. I just did that for the YouTube. But you can just make a variable, and uh, you know if payload name, save it. Um, all right, it detected a change. I'm, I must have clicked on it. So now we have what services. So let's do the. I'm interested. I'm interested in buying something. Great, you're interested in buying something. We have another post that went okay. And now we have the desire is buying, right? It passed us. So, you know, you can assign these in a variable saying, hey, today somebody connected with our chatbot and this giraffe is interested in buying something. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, there's a lot of applications for this. It doesn't have to be Python. You can use it with JavaScript or whatever um, that can read JSON. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, leave a comment and tell me how awesome my intro was or what you're working on with IBM Watson. Or tell me which one you like better, Watson or Dialogflow or even Google AI. Um, yeah. And so like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Um, and thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.